Hello, dear friends, and welcome. Today, I'm so glad you've chosen to join me as we explore one of the most incredible and transformative aspects of our faith God's grace, more than we deserve. It's a subject that speaks to the very heart of who God is and how He interacts with us. I invite you to settle in and open your heart as we take this journey together through the Word of God. Before we begin, let's invite the Lord's presence into this time together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thankful for your grace that covers us daily. Open our minds and soften our hearts as we explore the depths of your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. What is grace? First question we need to ask ourselves is, what is grace? Grace is simply God's favor to us as sinful as we are. It's not something we earn or deserve, it's a gift freely given to us by our loving Father. In Ephesians 2 8-9 KJV, Paul reminds us, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. This verse tells us that grace is foundational to our salvation. Without grace, we could never bridge the gap between our sin and God's holiness. Grace is the gift that brings us into a relationship with God. Grace is greater than our sin. Sometimes we think our mistakes and shortcomings disqualify us from God's love. But let me tell you, His grace is greater than any sin, any failure, and any wrong decision. The Bible speaks directly to this in Romans 5.20, AJV. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. This means that no matter how deep the pit of sin or regret, God's grace is deeper. Are you feeling unworthy today? Do you feel like your past is too messy for God? Let this be an encouragement to you. There is no pit too deep where God's grace can't reach down and pull you out. Grace and Forgiveness Through grace, we receive forgiveness. One of the most powerful examples of this is found in the story of the prodigal son in Luke 15, 11 to 32 KJV. You probably know the story. A young man squanders his inheritance on wild living and finds himself in a pit of despair. When he returns home, expecting rejection, his father runs to him with open arms. In verse 20 it says, But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, and had compassion, and ran, and fell on his neck and kissed him. That's grace. The father didn't wait for his son to earn his way back. He gave him what he didn't deserve, restored relationship. Just like that father, God's grace is ready to welcome us back, no matter how far we've strayed. Living in grace daily. Now it's important to remember that grace isn't just a one-time gift we receive at salvation. It's something we live in daily. Lamentations 3.22-20 JV tells us, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Every single day God offers us a fresh dose of grace. Isn't that amazing? No matter what yesterday looked like, today is a new opportunity to walk in God's grace. Grace empowers us to change. Grace not only forgives but also empowers us to change. Some people think grace means we can continue living however we want, but true grace transforms us. In Titus 2 11-12 KJV we read, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly, in this present world. God's grace helps us overcome sin, make better choices, and become more like Jesus. It's not just a safety net for when we fall, it's a launching pad that propels us toward a life that honors God. Conclusion, grace is for you. As we wrap up today I want to remind you, God's grace is for you. Maybe you've been struggling with feelings of guilt or shame, maybe you've felt distant from God and wondered if He still loves you. The answer is a resounding yes. His grace covers you, it's greater than your sin, and it's available to you right now. I challenge you today. Don't let another moment go by without embracing the fullness of God's grace. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Savior, today is the perfect day to experience His grace for the first time. And if you're already a believer, I encourage you to rest in God's grace daily and allow it to transform your life. Let's close in prayer. Lord, thank you for the gift of your grace, so undeserved yet so freely given. Help us to walk in that grace every day, trusting in your love and mercy. May we live lives that reflect the power of your grace, drawing others closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today, and remember, 
God's grace is more than we deserve, but exactly what He gives us. Please share your comments about God's grace. Please take a few moments to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and thank you if you have. Be blessed.